Okay, we're on expressive. So creative control expressive jelly bean mode basically. It's got the jelly bean button icon on there. Seems to be really good for low light conditions. Though, as I said, the, uh, I don't know. The browns could be, I don't know. Uh, yeah, maybe the. Back vistas. Yeah, I've got to pause longer because this one, as I said, the camera seems to take longer to uh, adjust. I've already ended up fixing that. Maybe I, maybe I, I think I'm at 25 frames a second. This camera can go up to, I think, 60. So it's more than twice as fast. What is it, 90? I can't remember. It, it can go a lot higher than. It can do time lapse and it can do. Uh, you know, slow-mo and all that sort of stuff, so, you know, it might be good for the glid. Once we uh, figure out the basics, you know, rapid focus, perfect one-to-one -one colour, true one-to-one -one if we can actually get it. Well, colour's nice anyway, of the furbage. But yeah, you can see the dampness now in the soil. If I'd came, come here, you know, uh, seven days ago, this would have been like bone dry. But you can see the peaty nature of the soil there. And that looks a bit greyish in the monitor rather than, it's more like a black-brown sort of thing, so, yeah. It's definitely having trouble with the brown, in the brown region of the palette. So, uh, eventually we'll have uh, Peltala folios, hookery eyes coming up here and we'll get back here at the right time of the year this year because the, now the bathroom's been built, the new bathroom and toilet, we'll get back here at the right time of the year to, uh, yeah see I can't fault the colours of the green and yellow on there but the the ground is not brown, uh, it's not brown enough so, um, anyway we'll have a quick film in here and then we'll change up to, um, uh, AI plus and hopefully we might get a better get some better brownage if that's the word okay pan and pause pan and pause and uh, here's the old dead spikes and we'll get some more this season oh a lot of blackberries come in in the last season jeez it grows fast Although well, I don't think we're going to have any trouble with snakes, I'm still listening out with my ears for them. Any rustling in the undergrowth. Huh. Interesting too, aren't we? Good test for the old brown. Well, that's weird. In the monitor, I can't fault the colour of that termite mound. Yet, down here, that's not, so, you know. Hmm. Hard to tell, fellas. That's the trouble with browns, but not oranges. And of course, orange runs in the brown, of course, though. So. Right. Well, as you can see, there's absolutely nothing growing, but the soil is a lot wetter than I would have thought it would be. Oh, yeah, look at it. They must have had some really heavy rain out here. Look at that. Can you see that, fellas? That scouring on the surface there? That looks like, uh, yeah, had a bit of bit of pounding rain here. Probably because we are higher up. We're about, I'll say we're about... Uh, a thousand feet higher up than where I live. Yeah, you know, we go up like two tiers up to here. Oh yes, there's much damp up here. So maybe there is actually a little seep or soak coming down here. We did find some evidence of it two years ago or something, that there was something up there. 
maybe that's where the Bernada is, up there somewhere. It's just very localised. But anyway, we're at five minutes now, so maybe I'll keep this and we'll change over to the AI Plus setting and hopefully we'll get try and get the nearest, damn it, perfect colour and everything else. But I'll hold the camera up here high and give you the panoramics. I think we need to have to walk along those pylons, but um, yeah, I think we're going to have to go back to the other valley and sort of look down and it's just going to be an exploring day today. But anyway, start a new clip on AI Plus, I think. See how we go. But it looks reasonable when the monitor here. And this is only like 1080p. I mean, I can go four times the quality for this apparently. So up to 4K and I don't know what the difference is in 4K. You know, does it blow you out of your seats in your lounge room? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, just joshing there. Okay, here we go.